the Dance Theater of Harlem stormed into Irving with a new exhibit celebrating their 40th anniversary. 40 Years of First is both a commemoration of their rich history and a celebration of the company's rebirth. There's something about what you do as a dancer that speaks without language. It's a rare thing that we get to have the chance to have the exhibit uh, in a place where we're doing a performance. This is 40 Years of First. It's an amazing opportunity to tell the Dance Theatre of Harlem story. It was actually created for the 40th anniversary of Dance Theatre of Harlem, and it talks about what was the impetus, what started the, the idea, what Arthur Mitchell had in mind, who Arthur Mitchell, our founder, is, and what the world was like when Dance Theatre of Harlem was started. He uh, was a young man uh, who was born in the 1930s, so he grew up in the midst of the Harlem Renaissance. He actually created the Dance Theatre of Harlem School in um, the fall of 1968. It was a school that was in the basement of a church, part of Harlem School of the Arts. It traces the journey of this organization from its very beginning up through 40 years, uh, being a, a small school in the basement of a church in Harlem to becoming an international touring company that uh, captured the minds and hearts of people across the world. Our first international tour was in 1972. The company was only three years old. Um, and uh, that was a tremendous experience for, for the dancers. But it was a real signal that something was going on with this company that wasn't going on anyplace else. Uh, in a certain sense, Arthur Mitchell, who's an amazing visionary, realized that it might have been difficult for America to accept uh, an African American ballet company. Uh, it's not what you actually expect. So there was a lot of, of, of mind changing that had to go on. So Arthur Mitchell knew that we needed to go to Europe, we needed to, to prove ourselves and get the kind of reviews that we got in Europe for America to pay attention. And it was a good gamble because Dance Theatre of Harlem took off right from the start. And then after we had all of this going we could come to America and America went, oh I think this is something we want to pay attention to. So when you're walking through the exhibit, you see it go from something very small. You see it capture the idea of something different and something unique and something important from the beginning. You're going to see photographs that are, that are part of our history that trace the, the story. And the photographs capture performance and they capture behind the scenes. They capture key people who are part of making Dance Theatre of Harlem. So that's a, a large part of the exhibit are the photographs. Um, then you have a video. So you get to see actual dance performances of the Dance Theatre of Harlem Company in some of the very amazing works that were created for this company. We have costumes. So you'll see costumes in the video and then you're going to see the actual costumes in the space so you can walk up and look at them uh, in three dimension. Arthur Mitchell wanted to show the breadth of what classical ballet is. People think of classical ballet as just being the tutus, and so we have a tutu in here. But you know, there are so many different styles of dancing. One of the most, uh, one of the favorite ballets of uh, the company at that time was a ballet called Dougla. It was choreographed by Jeffrey Holder, but it's about pageantry, and so the costumes to Dougla are um, big white skirts and, and a big green twirling skirt. So there are costumes for Dougla here. So it shows that ballet can be this, a ballet can be tutus. We, have a, we had a period of, of Dance Theatre of Harlem history where we did a lot of story ballets, but the story ballets we did were not Swan Lake and Coppelia. We did A Streetcar Named Desire. We did Fall River Legend, which is the story of Lizzie Borden. So it was a way of telling these stories using, using um, this classical ballet idiom to tell many different kinds of stories. And you know, the really amazing thing about the exhibit, it was, put to, it was spearheaded by a former ballerina, so somebody from the inside. It's not a scholar who figured out what this was. It was a, a labor of love that was put together by uh, one of our, our former ballerinas, Judy Tyrus. The mission of Dance Theatre of Harlem is threefold. We are about performance. 
we're about training. We have a, a, a school in Harlem where we train young people to be dancers or young people to be lawyers. You know, it is about giving them the classical training to, to make them strong individuals. Um, and we are about arts education, and that has been an important part of what we do from the very beginning. And we have, uh, we continue to do that because we realize that this thing called art has a power to really give people a new way of seeing the world. The exhibit continues through March 16th in the Irving Arts Center Main Gallery.